Hello, everyone. Sue Onoschuk here, continuing the workbook lessons of A Course in Miracles. And thank you for being here. Thank you for viewing this video and also for um, being with me as I continue my practice as well uh, of these lessons and of these principles of A Course in Miracles. So um, I will continue on to the lesson for today at this moment, and, and it is Lesson 320. And um, I want to add that I really needed to hear this today. So the lesson is, my father gives all power onto me. The son of God is limitless. There are no limits on his strength, his peace, his joy, nor any attributes his father gave in his creation. I ask myself as I'm reading that right now, where am I? How am I? Uh, and I'm choosing to be aware. Where am I putting the limits? I am putting the limits. I'm clear on that in terms of joy and peace in all the attributes by, that have been given me by God. I do these lessons to really stay present to the uh, limitlessness and everything God and with God, all things are possible. That's my reminder today as I, as I do this practice and this lesson. So let me continue here. What God wills uh, with his creator and redeemer must be done. His holy will can never be denied because his father shines upon his mind and lays before it all the strength and the love in earth and heaven. I am he to whom all is given. I am he in whom the power of my father's will abides. And the prayer is, Father, your will can do all things in me and then extend to all the world as well through me. There is no limit on your will, Father. And so all power has been given to your son. And I want to share again today from uh, a year of, um, of forgiveness written by Tina Louise Spalding. Um, and, you know, again, she channels Jesus. And I thought this message as well was very, um, very important to hear today. And um, I wanted to share it with you. So the, Again, the lesson is, my father gives all power unto me. And Jesus says, you are blessed beings indeed, and I am the one you know as Jesus. You are made in the image of God. You are made as powerful creators. And you have the ability to manifest whatever you want. That is what you are all doing, Jesus says. The problem most of you have with your unconscious minds is you don't know which programs and beliefs you have. So they miscreate all over the place. Negative beliefs and ideas that your grandmother used to tell you when you were sitting on her knee when you were four are still in there in your unconscious. They are put in there intentionally by authority figures and they will not be removed until you remove them. These beliefs and ideas limit you. It is not a natural limit that you feel in your daily experience. You feel the limitation of the untrue and restrictive beliefs and ideas that have been implanted in you. And I'll say programmed and conditioned in you. So your job is to discover those limitations. How do you do that? You do that through experience. What we want to inspire what we want to inspire that faith in your experience today. I'm going to read that again. What we want to inspire that in your experience today, you do not have negative experiences for no reason because God doesn't love you. You have negative experience because you are in some way bringing them to you unconsciously. Yes. Unintentionally. Yes. There are things in you, things you think, and actions motivated by beliefs that bring negativities to you. This is the most powerful place you will find yourself. 
when you realize that even though you are doing your best with your conscious mind, all the programs that have been indoctrinated into your actively un, um, undermine, let me read that again. This is the most powerful place you will find yourself when you realize that even though you are doing your best with your conscious mind, all the programs that have been indoctrinated into you actively undermine the effort you are using with your conscious mind. And percentage-wise, your unconscious or subconscious mind has a much larger percentage of your body, mind's control. So that's what we're dealing with. I'm going to add here, you know, is, is our unconscious guilt. And, and as we continue to do this work, we are uncovering it. So Jesus says, you do not have to think about your heart beating. You do not have to think about digesting your food. You do not have to think about cleansing your blood. You don't have to think about growing your hair. All these are unconscious in you. Thank goodness for that, Jesus says. There would be no time for anything else if you had to think about all those things. Then we go to the, uh, to the subconscious. The subconscious is where you have put all the stories, all your victimhood, all your beliefs, your indoctrinations, and lessons you've experienced. It is where you store them out of sight and out of mind, but they still play through. For example, you took lots of tests in school where you had to learn your time, times tables and your alphabet. You don't have to think about that anymore. You know it. At the same time that the, the indoctrination was taking place, you also were being told other things like money doesn't grow on trees. Don't get above yourself. Get off your high horse. Who do you think you are? Don't tell people things. They will use it against you. Does any of that ring for you? I'm going to ask. All kinds of tales from your family who might have been very negative or, and scared or very wealthy and positive. All of that is in there. And you will see the evidence of those teachings in your life. What is... Oh, that is what we ask you to contemplate today. Contemplate the family into which you were born. What their stories are. And determine whether you are still playing out those stories, even though you do not want the results they elicit. The mind retraining program we are conducting here, Jesus says, that you are voluntarily participating in, is to help you focus your mind on that which is beautiful, that which is freedom, that which is creativity, and that which is love. You will decrease the amount of energy you put into those untrue beliefs and ideas that you've been programmed into and conditioned. If you think, if you keep rather seeing in yourself thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that remind you of things you don't want or don't like to experience, then you need to bring them up into your conscious mind and ask yourself, what am I doing in this area of my, in my what am I doing in this area of my life that keeps it from blossoming, that keeps it from flourishing? And you will very, very quickly see that you are thinking things, saying things, and doing things that are, that are out of accord, out of accord with abundance, out of accord with joy in that area of your life. That becomes an area you can focus your attention to transform your thoughts, to transform your beliefs and transform your actions so that, you, so that they are congruent, that your thoughts, your words, and your deeds are all aligned. Many beings will say this is not the business of A Course in Miracles, teaching you how to live your daily life. But living your daily life gets better when you apply these principles. So don't focus on daily life per se. Focus on what we are teaching you here, Jesus says. Implement those processes and use your mind for good. Use your mind for love and use your mind for the evolution of human consciousness. Your daily life will improve as a side effect of the mastery of your mind. I am that one you know as Jesus. And we will speak to you again.
So as I read that last part where it says, you know, your daily life will improve as a side effect of the mastery of your mind. That is my intention, is to be a master of my mind. All right. I hope that helps you today as you move forward with the practice of a course. And um, uh, again, is, is it your intention to master your mind? What is your intention? I share that is mine. And uh, I know there's some things coming up for me and um, at, the, at this time. And I am grateful for these uh, principles in this practice because I know on the other side of this, there is a huge breakthrough. And, um, you know, my experience have been that um, I go deeper into the heart, heartfelt experience of God, of love, joy, peace, and happiness. All right. I wish all of that for you today. Abundance, love, joy, and peace and happiness. Please go below, as always, to like, comment, and share. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I look forward to being with you uh, for... Uh, the next lesson, which is lesson 220, or rather not 221, but 321. And we're again starting uh, another section of, of, of the lessons and um, we will be reading as well uh, what begins these next sets of lessons, which is number 11, which is uh, what is creation? And that is on page 461 uh, of the workbook. All right. Until the next video, from my heart to yours, I extend much love to you and bye for now.